I told this story because times with my family in West Denver during the High Holy Days were a high point of my youthful life. It was actually one of a few stories around my grandmother who was a pivotal part of my life as a child. Orthodox Jews do not ride on Sabbath or Holy Days. As a result, Grandma Sobel had a problem. But Grandma Brown had a solution. Rebecca Sobel, my dad's mother, lived on Denver's east side, but not within walking distance of an Orthodox Jewish synagogue. Ray Brown, mom's mother, lived on the west side less than a block from Zara Israel Synagogue. The problem? No place near enough to Grandma Sobel for her to attend High Holy Day services, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, on the east side. The solution? If Rebecca were to be at Ray's house during the holidays, she would easily be able to walk the distance to the shul but she would need help. So it was decided that our family, Mom, Dad, Eli, and I, would accompany her. That's five instead of one. Now at that time, living in her house on the west side were Grandma Brown, Aunt Rose, and Uncle Bob, and their children, Tina, Lily, Louie, and Zelma. That's seven. This was the basic two-story, three-bedroom house with one and a half baths, a large kitchen with a wood cooking stove, and a summer kitchen with an icebox, no fridge. As a child of eight, the icebox was a real fascination. I loved to chip pieces off the huge block of ice that cooled the food below. Also, there was no central heating. Looking back, it seems an impossible solution, but it worked. There was a lot of doubling up, but everyone had a bed, a cot, or the sofa with wonderful down quilts for cold nights. I loved the toasty feel of those quilts. The only thing that didn't stay warm was my nose. We all walked together that short distance to Zara Israel each day, and the nights were filled with lots of love and laughter as the two families meshed around a huge table loaded with wonderful holiday meals cooked on that wood stove. What a wonderful solution to a unique problem. Not only did Grandma Sobel find a comfortable access to celebration of our High Holy Days, but we from the East Side carried home a wonderful, warm sense of family.